Hi there, guys. Um, it's not a Ford. Don't have to be ready. You just gotta trust the right. Don't have to be scary. You just gotta follow the light. You're able to be happy. You can do whatever you like. Right, a few videos back to talk about how dark it was getting. I put up some LED lights on Alice. Well, we've just passed this time. 1.33 in the morning. <laughs> now this is why I like living in Sweden. So as you can see, it's pretty light right now. It's daytime. Um, but we're getting to the stage now where it's getting dark again. And we need some more lights. So, got this car here. And we're going to fit some extra lights to it. Well, there's a couple of ways we do this in Sweden. One of the first ones is we can fit them above the number plate light here. So you get some lights here. But that's usually done... You can get like nine inch lights that will fit there and there'll be three three nine inch lights fitted on here they're all right but nowadays we want something a bit more sleek a bit more slender and a bit more thin so what i want to do is we're going to fit a lead light bar down here behind this grill hidden away nice and neatly but still plenty of light so let's have a look what we're going to fit right so this is the light bar we're going to fit as you can see 90 watts plenty of light on that um the bar itself is a nice little thin one they are you can get them quite big at the moment you can get them really really wide as well you can get them that fit kind of half the car and even wider than the car you can get them you can fit on the roof and all sorts of things but this is a nice really thin one uh, plenty of light that comes out of this um, not too long i think it's about half a meter wide something like that it's a nice little kit actually comes from a company called HBA, not really sure who that is, but uh, HBA anyway is the kit. Um, as you can see, IP67, three year warranty. So it's a nice little bit of kit. What comes with the kit is also a wiring kit, which is quite nice. Um, so I don't have to worry about that. It does come with the relay already fitted, already wired in, but I will talk about how to wire in a relay in a few minutes. It also comes with a mounting kit to actually fit the the light bar to its holder but what it doesn't come with and what something we do have over in sweden is this which is a plate that usually fits behind the number plate like that uh, or even like that you fit it behind the number plate so these tabs stick up and you can fit the extra lights in these tabs here um, i'm going to use this plate but i'm going to put it in there i can fit it on here the problem with that is is i like it to be a nice sleek front on the car with nothing really sticking out so i like to hide them away um modern cars nowadays when you sit in the driving seat in the car you can't really see the front you can't see the bumper or anything like that so with it something sticking out like that it's really easy to whack it into a tree or a post or a wall or something like that so i do like to kind of hide them away there as a little bit of security as well so first thing we need to do now then is to get this front bumper out of the way. Right, so that's the bumper off. As you can see, it wasn't all that difficult. There's, they've actually left a hole here, which is unusual, but there's a hole there for a little screw. Then it just clips in with some clips across there. Um, a few little plastic screws down the bottom there. And then there's a bolt on either side there. Dead simple. The only thing you may have seen me taking off is this cable um, that you're probably not aware of but in sweden it gets cold really really cold so this cable here is for the engine heater there you plug that cable there and it goes into the mains the cable that goes in there and this other end here goes into the engine 
uh, and it, it heats a, a metal block up that heats the engine up, keeps the engine warm over winter. So that's one of the cables that I had to take away that you're probably not used to seeing and will probably be different to an English car. Other than that, the bumper came off really easily, really simple. Um, quite nice to take off actually, it was quite easy. So quite happy with that. As you can see, I've already fitted the plate that I was talking about earlier. Now what I want to do with this plate is fit this plate right in the middle of the bumper there and as you can see the light bar then will hang down and it will go through the gap there underneath where the number plate is so that is where i want to fit the extra light there it'll be nicely hidden out the way uh, but still be able to light up the the road perfectly well so all i need to do now is drill a few holes there bolt this to this bracket here um, and then it's basically wire it in and put the bumper back on again. Right, so that's the final position of the light. As you can see, I've had to re-drill the holes. I've also had to cut off part of that plate as well so we've lowered it from the holes above to the holes below and we had to cut off 15 mil from the top of the bracket because the light came too far down um, when it came too far down it was in the middle of the that is a plastic piece in the bumper that it was in the middle of but that is absolutely perfect now so we're just going to attach the bumper and i'll show you what it looks like with the bumper on well when it too high up the light came up here somewhere um, so we had to drop it down again when we dropped it down again it became too far down here so we had to cut a piece off and that brought it up absolutely perfectly nice level with this underside of the plastic there and it gives a nice little beam pattern and as you can tell from the front of the car even from this distance it's not all that easy to see it either which is how I like it to be it's nice and discreet so nothing sticks out from the car you can't really see it and it's nice and hidden it does come with, this is called a Deutsch contact, this one. I don't know if it's come from Germany or what it's about, but it's called a Deutsch contact anyway. Um, and it comes with a bit of cable attached to it, so you can wire that straight into a, an, another light if you want to, or if you want to wire it straight into a separate relay or whatever you want to do with it. But what it does come with, this kit, is a relay kit. So it's got the relay on it, and it also has... A Deutsch contact already fitted to it so I'll be able to plug that straight into the light bar and I don't have to worry about rewiring anything okay so I just wanted to talk about relays uh, and how to wire in a relay basically a relay is made up of two switches you've got one switch there and you've got the second switch up there well basically this side here we've got a 12 volt feed and this one in this case because we're powering extra lights this comes from the the main beam so when you switch on the main beam we close that switch and we put 12 volt through the coil here and this is labeled either 85 or 86 on here doesn't matter which one the other side of it will be then the 86 there and that goes to earth so one side is 12 volt the other side is earth and all this does is a low amp feed so it's basically the the feed from the it's basically the feed from the main lights on the car and as we're going to look at the video in a few minutes we'll see that this one is the green cable um, so as soon as you turn on the main beams which is the green cable we close that circuit we put 12 volts through the coil in the relay and then it goes out the other side to the earth now basically 86 and 85 it doesn't matter whether you put earth or live to 85 or 86 it makes no difference so you can put uh, 85 here and 86 there or you can put 86 there and 85 there it doesn't make any difference um, when we put a 12 volt feed through this coil pack here it turns this coil pack here magnetic well at the top of it here about here turns magnetic and that then pulls this piece of metal here closing that circuit so this side of the circuit here is our 30 contact. Now this one is 12 volt 
plus it's fused and it's always 12 volt so this goes directly from the battery so we've got a 12 volt feed directly from the battery here going all the way in to our 30 cable so the the power comes in here and obviously it stops here it won't go on to the light bulb there the other side of the light bulb as you can see is earthed but the main power to the light bulb isn't there because it's not open because it is open there so as soon as we put power through here we turn that magnetic there and that will pull this piece here and it will close that and that means that the electricity then can flow all the way through here and out to that bulb and this one is our 87 feed so there are the a simple diagram there for a fuse we've got 85 and 86 that's one circuit and as I say it doesn't matter which way around you do these we've got our 30 which is always uh, 12 volt in and then 87 is 87 out to the light bulb right, I've got the wires down there at the moment everything's hanging a bit loose at the moment but everything's all wired in these wires will obviously get tied up in a few minutes but as you can see what we've done here is we're going from the green cable which is in the top there it's the top middle connector there's three cables there's three cables going across the top and the main beam is the middle one so that is where we've connected into there and as you can see right down the bottom there we've got the earth going into the, the bolt on the beam there so that's where we took the earth from um, so they've got the main beam there and the earth down there connected in with a little scotch lock there uh, the cables then for the power come around the side of the battery and we've got the minus and the plus connected there so that's it ready to go we just need to get out some uh, cable ties now connect all these wires up together nice and neatly hide them all away and we can go out and road test it right that's it lit up then all wired in and ready to go uh, as you can see 90 watts of light so it's pretty bright we are still in the air with the car but even at that as you can see in this bright workshop that's quite a lot of light at the front there that's going to be good in winter so what we need to do now is get the bumper back on again right that's all back together now then and one last look under there there it is all nicely hidden under there right that was it for this episode um, Kia, not anything I've worked on before, but quite interesting to work on it. Quite nice to work on as well. Worked really well. I'm really pleased with how that light turned out as well. So if you want to see more videos, press that like and subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot and bye bye.